Hello everybody. In this video, I want to introduce you to an exciting new project initiated by the Oakshot Institute in Minneapolis. The Oakshot Institute houses the collection of medieval arms and armor of the former Hubert Oakshot, who is probably best known for his typology of medieval swords. His book, Records of the Medieval Sword, is a must-have for the modern sword enthusiast and offers an overview over a wide variety of extant medieval swords. The Institute's mission is not only to preserve this extensive collection, but also to make it accessible to the public. To this end, they take weapons out to places, holding lectures, showing the material to people, and explaining the manufacture and the properties of medieval swords. But of course, there are limits to what you can do by physically going places. So they have thought about new methods of presenting material and making it accessible to each and every one of you. Our point is, like, the objective of this is to take this original mission that we're trying to accomplish here and reach as many people as we can. Yeah. And one of the best ways of doing that, instead of just looking at static pictures, is if you're not able to manipulate it in your hands, at least try and replicate that as close as possible. Mm. So by having like a 3D model that you can look at and turn and adjust the lighting, or for those who are more interested in the finer details, to be able to look at a specific cross-section or take specific measurements, um, we want to be able to provide that information for all the pieces that are currently in the collection. So, our current... How many pieces are we talking here? There's, there's about 120 in the collection of items. Um, swords is probably more in the line of 60 swords or so. Okay. But it spans everything from the bronze sword to uh -huh. some very... Uh, Male jewelry type small swords. I see. Related. You have uh, uh, your phone on you to show uh, this uh, particular model that you showed me earlier on? No, but I can provide yeah. a link for you that you can provide to people. Oh, that's great. That's great. And also, um, wouldn't it be a good idea that, because I, I find the idea so thrilling, and I'm sure there's so many people out there who would love to have uh, 3D models or look at 3D models of these swords, turn them around on their uh, phone and see it look at them from all sides and eventually we may even get to a point where you can print out and maybe you can build your own uh, synthetic simulator and train with it oh wow from an original like that would be mm -hmm. i think that, that would, would be, be so cool but yeah we have been successful so um as we get uh, a few pieces finished and have them available for people that's that's when we'll probably start using those to help drive mm. uh, a design i think it's a great initiative i think it's such a great project can't wait. Um, okay, so? One additional point I would like yeah. to make is our eventual goal is not just to provide the 3D models, but perhaps similar to what you've seen here, have one of the experts at the collection mm -hmm. do a short five-minute talk mm -hmm. to be able to explain the history and the important aspects of each of the pieces and their relevance to, you know, the history of swordsmanship in general. I see. Well, that would be so cool. I will definitely do my best to uh, promote these ideas because uh, um, not only do I think it's a fantastic way to preserve our um, cultural heritage, but also because I'm a total sword geek and I want to see more of this. <laughs> so guys, thanks a lot to, to Greg Thank and to, to Dale. Thank, Thank you. you very much, guys. Bye-bye. See you later. So if this has stirred your interest and you would like to see a lot more of the excellent swords and pieces of armor from the collection being turned into virtual 3D objects that you can access via your computer or tablet or smartphone, then think about becoming part of the project by supporting them on patreon.com and assisting their work, assisting their initiative. Thank you very much for your attention.